All right, what I want to do now is continue to talk a little bit about math operations in JavaScript. And specifically here, we're going to focus on something called operator precedence, or in your math class, you think about this as the order of operations. So if we're faced with multiple operations in a row, how does JavaScript know which operation to perform in which order? Well, basically, you're going to use the PEMDAS, okay, from your math class. Remember the PEMDAS, I'm going to write this out. So PEMDAS, most people remember this by saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, so that's a little mnemonic device you can use for that. But there's some key things to understand about PEMDAS. The P stands for parentheses or grouping symbols. Okay, so any grouping symbols that you'd have. Then the E stands for exponents. Okay, so this could also be taking the square root of something. So this would be the next level of priority. Then here's where it gets tricky. You have M that comes before D. But the M and the D have the same priority level. So multiplication and division are the same level of priority. They are worked left to right, okay? And then you have the A and the S. So this is addition and subtraction. These have the same level of priority. They're worked left to right. So let's look at a quick example. We'll do something like const result. We'll set this equal to 20. Let's go divided by 10 and then times 5. So again, if you remember PEMDAS and you're not clear about this rule, you might think that you would multiply here. So you would do 10 times 5 first before you divide, okay? But this is not actually the case, okay? What you would see here, because multiplication and division have the same level of priority, 20 will be divided by 10 first. So let's just write out these steps. 20 would be divided by 10 first, and this is going to be equal to 2. And then what's going to happen is we're going to have 2 times 5, okay? And this is going to give us a result of 10. So to see this, let's go ahead and console.log our result variable, okay? And let's go over here, and I'm going to pop open my terminal, and let's go ahead and clear this, and there was nothing to clear, I shouldn't have done that. And let's go ahead and run this, so it's node space basics.js, and we get 10 as a result, okay? So as expected. So let me erase this and bring this up here. So what would we do? if we wanted to actually do the multiplication first. Because in some situations, you'll want to do something first, so you'll have to override what's written in the JavaScript, and you can do this by placing these guys inside of a set of parentheses. So now, because parentheses has the highest level of priority, it's going to execute 10 times five first. So here we would do 10 times five first, which gives me 50, okay? And then I would have 20 divided by 50, which is gonna give me 0.4. Okay, you could say 0.4 if you wanted to really emphasize the fact that you have a decimal there. So let's go ahead and pop open the terminal and see this real quick. And we do get 0.4 or just 0.4. Okay, so let me go ahead and erase this real quick. And let's start with a fresh example now. Let's say we do something like const result and we set this equal to 10 minus 20 plus 5. So again, when you think about addition and subtraction, they have the same level of priority. Okay, so we would subtract and add moving from left to right. So I would start here with 10 minus 20. I would start here with 10 minus 20, and that would give me a negative 10. Okay, and then next I would do what? I would do negative 10 plus 5, which would give me a negative 5. So again, if I console.log my result variable, what am I going to get? Let's go ahead and pop this open, and I'm going to clear it and run it. We do get negative 5, okay, as expected. But again, if you did this incorrectly, if you said, well, A comes before S in PEMDAS, you would think about 20 plus 5 doing that first, that would be 25. So let me just notate these steps. So you would have 20 plus 5 first, that would give me 25. And then you would have 10 minus 25, which would now give you negative 15, okay? So if we want to get that result, again, what we have to do is override what's written into JavaScript. So we would need to wrap this inside of a set of parentheses to give it a higher level of priority so it's executed first. And now what we'll see is we get negative 15 as a result. So let's pop this open and run this, and we do get negative 15. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just do one long example, just so we get some practice. So let's do something like 24 divided by, I'm gonna put negative three in here, times two, and then I'm gonna do plus three, and then I'm going to do the exponentiation operator. So it's double star and then two and then times two. Okay. 
So let me write this out here. This is a bit confusing because people see this and they don't know what it means. Again, this is the exponentiation operator. It's just like having three raised to the power of two. Okay, so you can make that clear in your head. So let's think about the order of operations and what's gonna happen first. So let me just erase this part. The highest priority is what's inside of parentheses. So inside of parentheses, we have negative three times two. So if we do negative three times two, we're going to get a result of negative six, okay? So I would replace that with negative six, and now I would have 24 divided by negative six plus three, and then this is raised to the power of two, okay, and then times two. So when we think about what has the next highest level of priority, it would be to work with the exponents here. So we have three raised to the power of two, that's going to give me nine. Right, so we would say that this is 24 divided by negative six plus, again, three raised to the power of two is going to be nine, okay? And then you have times two here. So now what will we get? Well, we have division, we have addition, and we have multiplication. Division and multiplication have a higher priority than addition, but division and multiplication occur on the same priority level, so we work them left to right. So because the division occurs to the left of the multiplication, it's done first. So 24 divided by negative six would be negative four, and then you'd have plus nine and then times two, okay? And then lastly, we would have what? We would have multiplication and addition, so we would multiply first and then we would add. So we would do nine times two first, so that's 18. So you'd have negative four plus 18. And then to finish this up, you would have negative four plus 18, which is gonna be 14. Okay, so if we console.log this result, let's go ahead and clear this out and let's run this now. And we do in fact get 14, okay? So we get our expected result. All right, so now I wanna head over to MDN. This is a great resource for anything JavaScript related. So I'm on the page that's titled Operator Precedence. I'll leave a link for this in the description. So I just wanna scroll down here a little bit. Okay, this is gonna give you all the different rules. We haven't seen a lot of this stuff yet. So I don't wanna go through everything. I just wanna come down to this table, okay? So the table gives you the order from highest, which is 21 to lowest, which is one, okay? So you see the grouping here is with parentheses and you see that as the highest priority level. So the precedence, the number there is 21, okay? Then if you come down here, Forget about all these things, we'll talk about them as we progress through the course. You see that exponentiation, okay, has the next highest priority level when we're thinking about math. Then you see that multiplication and division are below exponentiation. And you can see here that they're worked left to right, okay? Then we come down here, we see addition and subtraction. Again, they're the same priority level, they're worked left to right. And I wanna show you one other thing. We're gonna get to these things later on, but you see the assignment operator has a very low priority level it's assigned the number of three, okay? So we've talked about the fact before that when you have this assignment operator here, it works the stuff on the right side of it first. Once it's gotten that value, then it assigns that value to the variable, okay? So this guy here has a very low priority level. Okay, so let's do a quick little exercise. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to quickly convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. This is a pretty common task. So what you can do is head over to rapid tables, okay? And you can look up the formula for Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I'm just going to copy this real quick, okay? So that we have it and I'll minimize that. And I'm just gonna put this in as a comment. And what I'll do is I'll just go const Fahrenheit. Okay, I can never spell this, so Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna go with 77 for right now. And then we'll do something like const, we'll do Celsius to Fahrenheit, okay, like this. And we'll set this equal to, we'll say what? We're just going to follow this formula. So we would take the temperature in Fahrenheit, okay? So the temperature in Fahrenheit, so I have the variable that represents this, and then minus 32, minus 32, and then times 5 ninths. So you can multiply by 5 and then divide by 9, okay? Okay. But if you think about the order of operations, you need to wrap this inside of parentheses, okay, so that it's done first. You then would multiply by five and then divide by nine. This actually could be reversed. You could divide by nine first and then multiply by five. You get the same answer, but we can leave it like this. It doesn't matter, okay? So let's just go ahead and come down here and let's think about our steps. So if I console.log the Celsius to Fahrenheit variable, what would I get? Well, I would have Fahrenheit, which is 77, minus 32, so let's think about that. So we have 77 minus 32, that's gonna give us what? Well, seven minus two is five, and then seven minus three is four, so this would be 45. So the next thing we would do, we would take 
this 45, we would multiply by five and that would give us 225. And then to wrap this up, we would have 225 divided by nine, which is going to give us 25. So let's go ahead and console.log this Celsius to Fahrenheit variable, and we will get 25 as a result. So let's pop this open. I'm gonna clear this out and then run this. And we do in fact get 25.